So before we start coding anything, there's a couple of things I want to explain, which didn't really occur to me until later, that this is something that you guys might want to know. And this is why I have a different background, I have a different operating system. I just simply created this video like five videos ahead of where we are right now, and then shoved it back as one of the first videos in this series so you guys could know this before you got started. Now, what I wanna talk about is what you can do with HTML and CSS. Because I expect you guys to be, at least if you're watching this series, I expect you guys to be fairly new when it comes to programming. And you might have been told that, well, if you wanna learn how to make websites, you need to start out by learning HTML and CSS. Well, that is true. If you want to make websites, you can make a complete website only using HTML and CSS. But without any other kind of coding languages, there's gonna be a lot of functionalities missing from your websites. To give an example, Using HTML and CSS, you'll be able to create a lot of different designs. You will be able to create a lot of different front-end programming, which is what you call the stuff that you can actually see on a website. For example, I have Amazon.com open here as an example. And this is a site, in case you didn't know, that sells a lot of different things, which means that it has a lot of design elements. It also has a lot of backend elements. So when we have this site, we can see that it has a header up here with a menu down here. It has a search bar. It has a lock-in system over here. It has a cart. And down here in the body, we have a banner. We have some products. And at the very bottom, we have a footer with some different menu links on it. Now, with HTML and CSS, you can create all of this. You can create the look of it, but you can't create the functionality behind some of the buttons we have here. For example, you can code this link over here that says, hello, sign in, and then your account, and then you can click the sign in button. But you won't actually be able to sign in using HTML and CSS. In order to create a login account, you're gonna to need to know, for example, a coding language such as PHP, okay? So you can create websites that has the look and has links that takes you to other pages and that kind of thing. But if you want to create a login system, if you want to create a cart, if you want to have a system that automatically updates what kind of items you have down here in your shopping or like inside your shop, then you're gonna to need to learn other languages such as JavaScript or PHP or something else. HTML and CSS is only for front end, which is what you call, you know, the stuff that you can actually physically see on this website. Now, when you get into this series, we will talk about how to create a complete website. And yes, you can, like I said, create a complete website with only HTML and CSS. And we'll talk about how to do this, but it also means that we won't be able to create all these other stuff. So when people tell you, oh, you want to learn how to build a complete website, yes, you do need to get through how to do HTML and CSS. Because without HTML and CSS, it's gonna be very tough to build a website only using PHP, for example. PHP, JavaScript, jQuery, all that stuff is something that you build on top of HTML and CSS. And HTML and CSS are kind of like the foundation of what you need to know in order to build a website, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing in this series. We're gonna be, uh, be learning how to build a website, the look of it. Um, of course, after we design some kind of design, we can create a website. And then when you want to add the functionalities and all the cool you know, animations on top of the website and that kind of stuff, then you will have to learn other different kinds of coding languages, okay? So just so you guys keep in mind that that is what HTML and CSS is. It's only the design. You can code how it looks like, but if you want to have functionality such as a lock-in system or something like that, then you're gonna to need to use a database, which means that you need to learn something called PHP or something else, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will get started on the next episode and actually doing something with the site.